Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 29. We are into the last stretch of 2022. We have two more trading days uh, left for this year, including today. And overnight on Wall Street, we still see that uh, U.S. equity continue to slide uh, since it has been sliding since mid-month. And uh, overnight, the catalyst seems to be Apple shares. Apple seems uh, Apple shares uh, have lost three percent overnight, uh, whereas the previous day the main uh, news attributed to the slide in U.S. equity was the fact that uh, Tesla stocks continue to uh, trade downwards and uh, it traded uh, aggressively to to the downside. And yesterday it had a rebound, uh, whereas last night uh, Apple stocks took over from Tesla, holding the headline. Uh, resulting in market sentiments being pretty negative but other than that there is no real news that moved the market yesterday but market continued to slide i think it will continue to slide all the way to the year end and uh there's a danger uh as far as the national 100 is concerned there's a danger that we may actually see a new low created for the year uh although we only have 48 hours left of trading but we'll go to that later on over in the dow Jones itself we can see prices uh last ended at 32,875 uh very very close to the month low at 32,573. It is not inconceivable with 48 hours left of trading, it may actually create a new low for December. But to take out the November low at 31,727, that's a bit of a stretch. I do not see that happening. But however, that cannot be said for the other equity index. We have the S&P 500, again, also losing, uh, losing ground last night. It closed at 3,783, uh, also very, very close to the uh, uh, last week's low at uh, 3,797. Uh, so we are not that far away. And uh, of course, for the market to go and test the November low at 3,700 is not too much of a, uh, uh, not a stretch of imagination. Actually, it can do that uh, if the market have a catalyst uh, to lose 80 points in the S&P 500. It's not uh, an outliner, it can actually happen. But the one that actually can uh, can actually happen, resulting in a new low for 2022, is this particular index called the Nasdaq 100. Uh, we can see that last night closing at 10,005, uh, sorry, 680 is pretty close to 10,440. Okay, so we can see that for the market to drop another 200 points in the Nasdaq, I think it is really, really possible. Uh, will we see that? I think there's a at the very least, I think we will see that this counter trend for 10,440 may be eliminated by tonight. So at the rate it is falling, odds are very, very good that we can see a new low uh, going into the last day of trading, uh, which is tomorrow. Okay, but over in Hong Kong, we can see that prices also follow Wall Street on its uh, on the downside after achieving a new high for the month at 20,999. So we can see that the price managed to take out the 20,000 levels, but just marginally before it slides back again. Uh, but for the time being, this market posture remains very positive, largely due to the idea that China is opening up to the outside world one more time, and that is underpinning the uh, market sentiment in Hong Kong. And the same is happening for the Shanghai Composite Index. Although we can see prices come down this morning, but I think overall structure over the last week or so, since bottom up at 3,031 does uh, give us the idea that market may actually stabilize and maybe be even go higher uh, in the early part of next year to test the 31,000 at uh, 3,100 levels, okay? Over in the Nikkei, we can see the prices are very similar to the structure that we saw in the NASDAQ 100. It does appear that at the price it is trading this afternoon, this very hour, uh, currently it's just trading below 26,000 points and um, at this rate of fall, uh, it's uh, it is not inconceivable for the market to take out the October low, which is 25,621 and for the market to go even lower to test the June low, which is 25,520, okay? So by and large, we have a risk of market uh, at the bare minimum, uh, bare minimum to actually test the October low of 25,620. So this is definitely a possibility here. Uh, it means that the Japanese equity market is actually uh, very vulnerable to further downside losses, okay? Now, uh, when we look at currency, we can say dollar versus the yen are actually peak at 134.50 this morning, uh, which is actually uh, within the uh, target range of 134 to 134.80. And the turn down from there does appears 
to suggest that at least in the near term, there's a possibility the market may have picked at 134 half and may be getting ready for further losses ahead. Okay. Now, uh, when we look at sterling, sterling seems to be uh, trading sideways largely, although there was a spike to 120, 120 overnight. But there are this morning, we can see prices slide back to where it was before the bump up to 120, 120. So over the longer term, I do believe that market may drift lower. Uh, my initial target is one, uh, 119. Uh, but my ultimate target for this run is at 118. Okay, so 118 seems to be the idea. Uh, ideally, the price comes somewhere between these two range of prices. And if you see a buy signal appear, maybe that is signaling that the dollar may come off going into the new year. Uh, Euro versus the dollar has been a largely a very disappointment trade for me because I've been I've been short this market for quite some time and for as long as I'm short the market did not go anywhere it was basically trading sideways and uh, yesterday I lost my patience and I just basically exit the trade with a small loss and this morning it came off and take out this minor support uh, uh support line here now it, that this line has become a resistant line whether this will amount to much remains to be seen but I'm not going to be tempted to get back in again because considering we only have less than 48 hours because tomorrow the, uh, is the last trading day, uh, you, you can bet the volume uh, is going to dry up uh, as we approach uh, midnight tomorrow. So there is really no incentive to hold position over the weekend, okay, uh, over the new year, that's it, okay. So I'm going to watch this market from afar. If it falls, so be it. We will always have another cat to skim uh, as the market stabilizes. In the meantime, let's take a look at Aussie dollars. Aussie seems to have bumped up this morning to 068 before it loses ground and take out the support line here. Now, whether this is going to be amount to anything remains to be seen. But technically speaking, it does suggest the market may be drifting lower. My target for this move is, has all the while been at 66 cents. So maybe the market will go down to test this level uh, last traded at 06585. Okay. Uh, over in uh, Canadian dollar, dollar CAC. Dollar CAC seems to be very, very robust. Uh, this uh, last night we have a major run out in prices uh, to above 136. Maybe this is signaling that the buyers in dollar is coming back. And I've always maintained a, a, a rather positive outlook uh, for dollar CAC. And if this is the real move, uh, then I think uh, the market may actually go up to 138. Okay, this is still my still my target range all the while for this move here. Okay. Now over in crude oil, we see prices unraveled, uh, went up to test the $77, uh, sorry, the $77 to a low of $77.30. Okay. And uh, last night, as the market was coming down, I managed to buy some more at $38.10. So hopefully this price can actually hold out. And because I, be I believe this level at $81 will be challenged one more time, uh, my target remains at $83 or just there about. Okay. So I hope the market will have another bounce up uh, going forward. Over in uh, precious metal, we can see the prices actually went up to 1832.30 cents uh, before sliding back. Now the market has a very, very bullish uh, structure. So far, it has held out this support line very, very re religiously. So unless this level is taken out, uh, we may see continued uh, 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 bullishness or at the very minimum, some kind of holding pattern. Okay. Over in silver, uh, we see the same thing. Uh, structurally, it does appear that this market become very supportive to the upside. I was hoping to buy somewhere near the $23. It may or may not come, but never mind, uh, we'll see. Okay, but this market has, I've been very bullish, this precious metal market for quite some time now. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get back in again. In the crypto space, it's a bit, a bit of a mixed bag. My January down, we have Bitcoin uh, trading below the 16,600 uh, levels. Uh, currently trading at 16,531. Uh, it's not that far away from the December low at 16. 283. So by and large, if this low here that's uh uh is not taken up, there's a possibility the market may bounce back up uh to 70,200 levels, but it remains to be seen because this market does appear to be a little bit soft going into the uh uh, uh today's trading. Over in Ethereum, we also saw a pullback uh to the 1182 levels this morning, and the market is stabilizing currently at this band of prices. I was hoping that this price of 1,183 to 1,193 uh, can actually hold the market, okay, for another rally attempt to 1,265 levels. So, however, uh, we will have to take it with a pinch of salt because the market does appears to be wanting to come off. And when we look at Ripple, Ripple actually caused uh, a, a change in sentiment. 
price rally up to 037 and before it slammed down to 034 this morning and as we are speaking the market does appears to be wanting to come down a little bit more and the low traded so far in december is 33324 and if this level cannot hold i think we're going to see further losses ahead Binance coin is not doing anything of value because the market seems to be in holding pattern so there's nothing to add here uh, Deutsche coin uh, continue to slide lower okay and uh currently it's at old 06 uh 0 0.069 so it is definitely very vulnerable to further losses going ahead cardano is also losing ground so far it is at the new low for the month at 0242 uh and of course the same thing go for solana solana is at a record low it's at nine dollars and 39 cents so there you have it genuine market speaking uh crypto space is definitely uh not very bullish for now and of course hopefully uh We'll, we'll hope for better times uh, in 2023. In the meantime, I'll see you until tomorrow. Bye-bye.